Hi, in today's lesson we are going to design a slab. So this is our structure that we have made in the previous lessons. We want to design a simple slab of this uh, structure. So for designing a slab or for designing we have two methods the required and the provided. The required one is the theoretical one and the provided one is the real one that is based on the theoretical calculations. So let's start the design process. From here go to RC design and then choose slab required reinforcement and assume that we want to design just a simple slab for example this one we open it in a new window and from here choose the number to be 158 158 which is the number of the slab and from ULS is a combination you choose a combination that you have defined previously I have defined it uh, ULS as combination number one which is uh, ultimate limit state then press on this one then close it and for service limit state from here choose combination and combination 2 then close it uh, here you don't have to change anything and also here because uh, the most suitable uh, settings has been chosen and you want to calculate not to verify so we choose calculations and then calculate now we want to show the area of the reinforcement we have uh, bottom and uh, upper as you see this is the area of the reinforcement and to change the scale you can ch change it from here as uh, this one and press apply the green one indicates that there is approximately no re uh, reinforcement to show the reinforcement area in the y direction you can choose it from here and this is it okay and to show the tabular form of data you can change it uh, choose it from here and uh, our plate is number 158 so we scroll down to 158 one five, five eight. this is it and this is our details you can change the columns from here uh, table columns and disable the area and if you want to show the spacing then okay this is the spacing this was the required reinforcement method now we move to the provided reinforcement method go back to geometry select the slab that we have designed using the required method and uh, from design go to provided reinforcement of RC elements As you see here, here is the details of the reinforcing area X, Y and X, the upper and the lower reinforcement. Go to this, to this option and from here select the reinforcing parts that you want.
and from here you specify the reinforcement uh, reinforcement type as bars and minimum length as 12 meters and minimum diameter as 12 and from bars diameter you choose it to select it but do not specify the direction uh, the spacing um, that's enough and okay then calculate from here calculations start after calculating go from here to results uh, to RC design and from here slab reinforcement as you as you see here this is the reinforcement of the slab here's the top and the bottom reinforcement this is the upper reinforcement and if you want to see the bottom this is it as you see here and from here you can also from uh, reinforcement top and bottom you can see them both both of them from drawing parameters you specify the template that you want uh, your drawing to be based on we choose anyone for example this one and open it and also spacing we want spacing to be here and uh, if you want to change the scale you can do it from here but I think this one is uh, is good to switch to the drawing click on this icon and as you see this is the final drawing and final reinforcement of the slab of the selected slab this is not 812 it's 8 5 12 and this is 5 5 12 and 18 5 12 okay Finally, if you want to get the calculation notes, you can see it from here. Go back to slab reinforcement. Click on this icon and then press on OK. As it's shown here, all calculations are provided here. Well, that was our lesson for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just write it in the description below. Bye.